This, my friend, is first class. Look at hand salts, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Put a little hand salt there. Boom, 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 boom. Dry it off. Get it done, son. What's up, good looking? How you doing? Look at this Model X, guys. There's beautiful cars everywhere around here. What's going on guys? Current time is 6.14 p.m. We are looking good, done for the day with my guy. Just a couple hours, real simple day to day. Now we are going over behind Sports Authority again. I want to see all the display stuff, if it's still there. I want to see it all in the daylight because I want to make sure that I'm not missing out on anything really, really good. Now again, you're probably like Cristoforo, you know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, just like enough's enough with these like slat walls. You're probably right, my friends, you're probably right. But again, this display stuff is so expensive. If you had a four car garage, I mean, obviously if you had a four car garage, you wouldn't be needing a dumpster dive because you're probably doing pretty well. But I mean, it doesn't even matter if you're doing well, guys. It's all about free items, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, even if I made a lot of money and I come across all this organization stuff, I'm gonna take the organization stuff. I mean, if you guys will watch the Man Cave series, it's pretty much, right now about 90% dumpster diving finds and the other 9% product review stuff that was sponsored and then the 1% was my Westinghouse TV that's up on the wall. So regardless of if you make money or not, it's about awesome stuff for free pretty much, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very curious to see what metal scrappers took it. Again, we're not in a very metal scrapping community but I have seen the cardboard guys come around with the big trucks collecting cardboard from Starbucks, et cetera. So I'm very curious to see what's still there. And I really, really want that long pegboard one, but hey, you know, I just definitely can't put it in. I definitely don't have the room for it, obviously in my little small one car garage. So if the slat walls are still there, those two piece ones, I took one last night, I'm probably gonna grab two more slat walls and I'll just put them on top of something for store for right now until God willing I'll be able to afford a two car garage three car garage in the future but again they lay flat you can stack stuff on top of it in your storage area without it getting in the way so guys it's right over here and we're heading over there now oh my goodness guys look at how much stuff was taken already I told you I told you ladies and gentlemen Oh my goodness, almost all the good stuff is gone. I see a couple more slat walls in the back right there. I'm gonna take those two, but look at how much stuff was gone. They might have put a Craigslist ad out for free metal, but I highly doubt it. Oh, hey, look at all the way down there, more stuff. Man, okay, this is starting to pop now, man. I'll tell you what, but all the really, really good ones, guys, are gone. I saw these last night, Columbia one right here. These are actually like little connectors, little trays. I'm gonna take those for sure. And this one right here because those can actually go on now goodness gracious you kind of wish you could just take this whole entire thing look it even has wheels on it during the daytime is so much nicer guys that's almost a computer desk under armor women look at this stair stepper right here that's gorgeous guys huh look at this under armor women right here look at this one oh that's totally slat wall right there you could totally put that on your slat wall and then put a uh, shelf underneath there okay i'm gonna grab that 
And then, uh, okay, so this slat wall back here, those, those are two slat walls, I'm gonna take those. And then this is a slat wall right here. So you can rig up something or other with a slat wall there. Um, this thing would be really cool right here, guys, to take this. Look at this thing, this thing is like a screw-in thing. Okay, here's another slat wall. Huh, it says sold. Oh, doesn't look like anybody picked it up. And then we got another thing down there. Oh goodness, you know, I wonder if you could actually just use this for like a slat wall, just a flat thing bolt it in your thing and it's kind of uh, kind of bulky a little bit. Anyway guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and plop a couple of these things here, load it up first. If security comes back here, they might tell me to you know shoe off. So uh, look at this thing, 75 bucks right here guys. We do look like we have some more slat wall stuff down there. So I'm gonna probably go over down there and grab that. So let's get going. Well guys, grab another slat wall plus some shelving, which is definitely cool guys. The rest of this will be gone by tomorrow or tonight. They did put out some more little shelving units over there, but those weren't that nice. They look like they beat them up pretty good. They were a little chipped up, a little bit more chipped up. These are a little bit more cleaner right here. So I decided to skip out on those ones. Let's go down to the other cans here and see if they have any more action down here that they try to hide. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so what it looks like happened, guys. Okay, this is what it looks like happened. These people in this store probably complained about Sports Authority, right? There's no cans there. Where'd the trash cans go? They, they, they were taken away. Actually, there weren't even any trash cans. All those displays are gone. So the trash can behind Sports Authority, they actually beat up all those display cases behind that you that we saw last night. And they pile drive them in the dumpsters. So these people right here were very uh, disappointed with uh, the sports authority people. Since we're here, of course, we're gonna go to Office Depot. I'm just gonna take a quick look at this right here, this brown box here. And I did find a couple more slat wall hooks, chrome ones. I'm just gonna go see if there's any more uh, hooks or anything like that in that brown Home Depot box from last night. No, just some of those shelving ones here, old garden hose, something or other there. I'm not gonna dig through that box, it's pretty dirty. Um, hey, you still have a pull-out mattress though, 80% <laughs> off. Guys, great find last night, great fill. Film. I'm definitely glad I checked it out last night so that I could get that on film for you guys. Hopefully, if you guys are diving over at Sports Authority or Sports Chalet, hopefully you guys got some good digs as well. And this is also a good time to come because no security. Well, security cruises through during the daytime, but not as much, not as frequently as nighttime. So here is Office Depot. Of course, we're going to go in for a look because we're already here. We might as well. And then I think after that, well, I don't know if there's a, see, normally they throw away stuff at nighttime, so I don't think there's there's gonna be anything fresh. But hey, you know, always double check. Or the other option I was thinking about is that the store that got mad for Sports Authority dumping in their cans might have took some of this stuff and just wheeled it down to their store for display stuff. Who knows? Bye, my love! Check this out guys, these ones that I picked up right here, take a look at this. These little things that I've been picking up, these actually little slat wall slots are actually larger than those ones there. Those ones there go at kind of like an angle, right? So it's good for like hooking things in, but take a look at this. These act exactly like slat wall hooks because they're a little bit bigger. They, instead of going upwards, they can go flat. Awesome. Not to mention, I do got to clean these up and I am going to paint that because obviously, let me go ahead and pull back here for a split second. That does not look very good. But guys, this is a nice, nice haul right here. We even got that one. Remember that one, don't you? Don't you forget about that one right there. But anyway, guys, slat wall hooks and shelves in a little Under Armour thing right there. We're going to Goodwill that golf cart, push cart, just because, you know what I'm saying? Just because, baby, because we can't. You know what I'm saying? God blesses and then you bless others. That's what we do around here. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So what we're looking good, we're looking absolutely fantastic. Now, if this was your garage, I know you guys would be like too much clutter still. And I understand that. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But I'm going to go ahead and double stack it straight up right there. Boom, 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 boom. Again, I'm going to paint it to blend it in just like this one here. See how this one, right? So if I scan this way, that blends in. But if I scan this way, that stands out. If I scan this way, that stands out. That color is absolutely terrible for the garage. So we're gonna paint it the same color as this one. That what we're gonna do is move it over here. 
Again, double stack it up right there and it's gonna cast a nice little glow from the LED lights up here. We're gonna come on down like this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start stacking shelves. I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on with this. I'll probably flip that around, take the front tire off just like this one so it can be a little bit more streamlined, not stick out and I'll just stack shelves straight down, put some goodies, some little stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Not too cluttered, make it look real clean. And then what we're gonna do, I think with that one, I think we're gonna go below, move this stuff out of the way, go right below here or I'm not exactly quite sure quite yet. Anyway guys, sky's the limit, baby. Sky's the limit, we're looking good. You know, I got a little surprise for you guys tonight. I'm feeling good, celebrating a little bit. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go midweek cheat day, baby. I think we're gonna go get a Papa John's slice of pie. Ladies and gentlemen, current time, 10.44 p.m. Papa John's closes in 16 minutes, so we need to go, my friends. And we need our hot piece of pie because, ladies and gentlemen, Sometimes a little extra cheat day during the week is much deserved. You train hard, you work hard, you know what I'm saying? As long as you don't do that all the time because even though stressful, I wouldn't say the days have been stressful, but definitely harder work than the average day for myself. So a little cheese in the pocket and we are gonna have a little exploratory celebration, exploratory of the pizza in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? All right, first stop down, we got the bag of chips, the M&Ms, and the water, and the chocolate milk. Again, next stop, Papa John. You guys are gonna wanna see this pie. Papa John's, here we go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt time, 11, 10 p.m. We're gonna get into a movie. Look at this pie, my friends. This is the barbecue bacon, pineapple, chicken, Hawaiian, what? With garlic sauce coming over here to some M&M's, peanut butter, of course. Coming over here, have you guys ever tried these chips? These are Cheetos Puffed White Cheddar. Oh, man. I know what you guys are saying. You're like, Christopher, you're just wrecking your system, baby. It's not even Sunday. Hey, I know what you're saying, baby. That's what I'm talking about. But listen, 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 listen. We celebrate, baby. We celebrate. What? 2% chocolate milk. What? That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm going to leave you guys here because I'm going to tuck on into this and I'm going to get this going in the books. So, my friends, I, God bless you, God protect you. Remember the carpe diem, baby. Live that dream. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's been a good day. Later. Okay, you gotta slide, you gotta slide down the thing, Natalie. Watch. Natalie, Natalie. Woo! <laughs> watch, watch, watch. We're gonna do a, do a full stare, full stare. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>